Indiana with a bounce back effort today, defeating Evansville 5 to 1. Welcome into the Quest for 9 report. I'm Austin Render. A big game for Indiana to bounce back off the disappointment in Maryland. The Hoosiers score five goals from five different players Glass, Bezerra, Palazzolo, War, and then Trey Capsalis jumps into the party in the last two minutes of the game off the bench, scores a goal, and the place went nuts. The teammates loved it. Thomas War said it might be the best celebration you see all season because these guys understand what the bench players go through in practice and it was a great culmination to see Trey knock it in the back of the net in the final two minutes. We have a lot of guys in our team that work their butts off day in day out. It's obviously not why they're here, um, just, just to see the goals, like they're here to help the team in whatever way they can, um, but for him to get that time, for him to get in the spotlight a little bit, um, it's, it means so much to him and it means so much for our whole team. When you have one of the guys that doesn't get to get in often and you know that they do everything and, much, and sometimes more than the guys, you just, the team knows how important they are and Trey's one of those players. Um, so you, you want it bad for them. I mean, I think there's any game where you, you, I think as much those guys wanted to, to get off the field so they could get those guys on the field. Um, and there's not as many game opportunities that that happens in parity in our sport. In today's player spotlight, we focus on Simon Waver. No, he didn't score any goals. He did have one assist, but his impact is outside the score sheet for this team. He's a very likable guy, according to Todd Yeagley. He says that the whole team has blended really well with him, and that's saying something because he's a transfer this year. He played for Evansville the past few years. He's here in Indiana now playing against his former team today, which is no easy task, but he did it very well today in an impactful performance against Evansville. Yeah, we coach brought him up. He was the first name that coach talked about uh, after the game. He was huge tonight. Uh, didn't put up any points. Uh, didn't score a goal. But especially playing your own, playing your old team is is a difficult task. Uh, emotions flying high, but he, he was solid like he has been all season tonight. He's been huge. Uh, we say it all the time. It feels like he's been here for five years. Um, he he fits seamlessly into our team. The guys really love Simon. I mean, to have a player come in and not be here very long, it says a lot about him. He's a really um, wonderful young man. And I think the guys, you know, you, there's guys you actually have a little extra cheer for. And they knew it's challenging to play against your old team. How do you know? It's hard. I mean, we don't have that often. We don't have many transfers in general. But to play against your old team, I just told him before the game, I go, Simon, just enjoy this. Don't don't think about who you're playing. This is just another opponent. You just go out and enjoy the competition that's at hand. And I thought he did a great job. Coming up next for Indiana, another Big Ten battle as the Hoosiers try to stay atop the Big Ten table. They'll welcome in Rutgers here to Jerry Yeagley Field. And we will have a special guest, Sam Niederman, filling in for us on the Quest for Nine report. So look forward to that coming up on Friday night. For now, that'll wrap things up here. I'm Austin Render. We'll see you next time.